It's not just the screen folded and turned on its side. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold is just 2mm thicker than the Pixel 9. Unfolded, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is 5.1mm thick which matches the iPad Pro 13 inches thinness and beats the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 by 0.5mm. It weighs just 257 grams which is 27 grams less than the Pixel Fold. If there is one compromise with that lovely touch and hold frame, it's that you lose a little bit of battery. With the capacity reduced from the Pixel Fold's 4727mAh to 4650mAh. I won't know the impact of that loss until I have tested the Pixel 9 Pro Fold over an extended period. The buttons are all clean, brushed aluminium and the power buttons also houses a fingerprint reader. The mobile phone now also supports unlocking with facial recognition. Face unlock was unavailable on the original Google Pixel Fold. Google announced the Pixel 9 Pro Fold alongside the Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL on August 13. It's on pre-sale now and arrives on store shelves on September 4, 2024. It starts at $1799 US dollar for a 256GB model with 16GB of RAM and is available in Obsidian and Porcelain. I prefer the Obsidian which offers a deep inky black that could only be described as sexy. Those prices make Google's new foldable cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 although not by much, a multi-purpose foldable phone will remain a considered purchase for some time to come. The name of this phone might seem long and less than memorable but I think it's accurate. This is a folding premium or pro phone. Instead of standing apart from all the Pixel 9 phones, the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold fits in well with the rest of the lineup. Overall, this is a redo done right job. The Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold looks like a regular smartphone when closed and opens into a mini tablet. The screens are sharp and bright and appear responsive. The cameras are decent if not groundbreaking but as an overall dual purpose package with a lot of baked in AI, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold will even at US$1799 probably appeal to a lot of would-be foldable phone buyers who should keep an eye out for trade-ins and other deals that will lower the price barrier to entry. I would not be surprised if it ends up near the top of our best foldables list.